My name is Kevin Lopez, and today I'll be talking about the film The Man Who Planted Trees. It's a great Canadian movie created by Frederick Back and backed up by the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, CBC. It brings together the talent of many Canadians like the composer Norman Roger and the famous Canadian actor Christopher Plummer. The story is based on a tale written by French author Jean Guionneau, and it's a story that raises great awareness about the natural environment. Frederick Back, the director, was particularly drawn to this story because he cared a lot about nature and animals ever since a young kid. In this video essay, we'll be looking through how the man who planted trees uses a positive, hopeful message with solutions to help the environment instead of scaring us with a story about the end of the world. The man who planted trees teaches us that even small, easy actions can have a big impact on the environment. As Bouffier, the main character, plants thousands of oak tree seeds in a territory in France that seemed lost, empty, and unclaimed. The kind act done by the character in the film shows us that anyone can provide the same amount of generosity to the earth that we live in, no matter where we come from. Such an act is not only seen just in movies, but has also been achieved by real people as well. Just like these two married couples named Sebastián Ribeiro and Leila de Luis Juanic Sargado. They've spent 20 years turning a cattle ranch territory into a beautiful home for animals by planting millions of trees in the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil. The real life story reflects to the film's message, yet there are a few more stories that are quite impactful that have provided a similar act of support towards nature like Elzear Bouffier. It's a small amount of effort that brings nature back to life, just like how the tale story can find a way to inspire readers out in the world that want to create a change in the environment they live in. With the help of the message behind the film, it has the ability to change our view from thinking, oh no, the environment is in big trouble, to believing that, wait, there are solutions. Anyone can help in their own way, and so can I encourages us to think about how our small actions, like planting a tree or taking care of a small garden, can add up to something great. This is what the story is about. It's about how it inspires us to see that making a difference does not have to be hard. It can be a start with a simple and easy action. The animated film doesn't just say we should help the environment sometimes. It shows us that helping the environment can become a lifestyle and a hobby. Elze Albufier doesn't only plant trees. He also takes care of bees and does other things to help nature. This makes us think that helping the environment can be part of our daily lives. By that, I mean real activities like gardening, which is like taking care of a small piece of nature and can become a fun hobby. It's not just good for the environment. It's good for us too. It comes with many great benefits. In fact, gardening helps us relax, makes our heart stronger, and even lowers the risk of a heart attack. Plus, it makes us feel good about ourselves when we see our garden growing. Just like in the film where Ezra takes care of the land in different ways and gets to appreciate the beauty from all the hard work he has put into by planting the thousands of seeds in the ground. Proving how joy can come along by making an effort or modification in our lifestyles as we improve the environment at the same time. The man who planted trees has the ability to speak to the audience with the support of the visuals that aren't high budget demanding, such as 3D animations, but rather using drawings. They are used in a way to talk about big problems like war and the end of the world and demonstrate the beauty of nature. The drawings help us focus on the solutions instead of feeling scared about the problems. The short film demonstrates the nature in beautiful colors like green trees and colorful flowers against the background of neutral colors like black, gray, beige that represent the harsh things that happened in the world. These drawings make the movie more interesting and help us connect with the message without it being too intense. It's like a way of talking about something serious without making it too heavy. 
Just like when we watch animated shows, the drawings in the film help us understand big ideas in a simple way. In the reality, drawings and animations like anime are used to tell stories and share important messages. They help us understand things without making them too complicated. The film's drawings, like in anime, create a space where we can feel the emotions without being too overwhelmed by the serious stuff. These visuals are a great support for the storytelling as it's not only encouraging but also educational for future generations that hope to create the same change that are seen through the movie. It's pretty clear this movie is like a green superhero story without the main character containing a cap on. Instead of scaring us about the world ending, it cheers us up and says, hey, we can actually do something good. It's not too late. We still have options and work to do. Whether it's planting trees, taking care of a garden, or just enjoying nature, the film tells us that we can make a difference if we really wanted to. Do we need to plant a thousand seeds? Not really. We could definitely take a few inspirations from Isaiah Bouffier. So keep it simple, have fun, and remember, making the world a bit greener is something all of us can do.